Hey guys, this is D-Man 10 here, and today I will be showing you how to jailbreak on a 3.1.3 firmware, 5 by touch 2G, 1G, 3G, non-MC model. So the 3G is, um, if it's non-MC, it was released before September of 2009. So if you just got your iPod for Christmas or something like that, it's not going to work. That's an MC model. But if this confuses you, you can check by um, on the back of your iPod. On the serial number, it'll have the letters MC together. If it has the letters MC together in the serial number, like it'll, for an example, 1567MC45, something like that, then you can't jailbreak on this uh, tutorial today. Um, other compatible is iPhone 3G iPhone 2G, iPhone 1G, but not the 3GS yet, because the 3GS, um, something is updated in the, the boot, the boot ROM, and, um, the nor flesh in the NOR gets corrupted, so, uh, you just gonna have to wait for the official jailbreak for the deaf team or, um, muscle nerd. Alright, anyway, moving on. Alright, so we're gonna first gonna have two download links in the description. The first is gonna be um <coughs> excuse me. First is gonna be uh the firmware uh three point one point two you're gonna need and then the just the whatever uh firmware you're gonna have for your device. Now you need three point one point two because it's a loop hill it's a loop hill jailbreak in today. So um what that basically means is it takes the firmware and you're on 3.1.3 but it uses the 3.1.2 to jailbreak on 3.1.3 because basically what 3.1.3 is is an update of 3.1.2 helping out apps run uh, quicker, your disk ROM spinning faster so you get more production of your iPod and also better battery life and this is all coming from Apple.com so, what you're first going to do is just let me switch to Hypercam, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, here's what we're going to do first. First we're going to go and open up your browser. So mine happens to be Mozilla Firefox. Um, you can use also, I have Internet Explorer, you can always use Safari if you want to. Um, just going to let that open, my computer's being slow. as always. I don't know why, when I'm running Hypercam my, my computer gets slow, so. Okay, here we go. Alright, now, first we're gonna go start at Google, and you're gonna type in F-E-L-I-X space B-R-U-N-S. Felix Brown. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to put your iPod into DFU mode. Um, from here, you're going to turn your iPod off. So, turn your iPod off. Let's turn it off. Pinwheel. Okay, it's off. I just heard it disconnect from my computer. That, that's another thing to make sure it's off. From here, you're going to hold down the sleep button on top. You don't know what the sleep button is, and the home button at the same time for ten, well, seven to ten seconds, and you're gonna hear your computer. Uh, it's gonna, you're gonna hear it turn on, and it's gonna hear your on your computer. It's gonna hear it reconnect, and then disconnect and reconnect again. So it's gonna go. So you gotta just count with me: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Now keep holding the home button for another 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now from here your iPod screen should be black and iTunes will pop up and tell you that your iPod is in uh, DFU mode or a restore mode. Um, if, you d if, that, if this happens, you did it right. Um, so again, your iPod screen should be black from here. Um, now from here, you're gonna 
you gotta uh, go back into uh, Red Snow where you were before, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna give you instructions how to put your iPod into DFU mode. So it's gonna count down for you. I'll show you guys the countdown. So I'll be right back. All right, all right. Now you're gonna be prompt to put your iPod in DFU mode. I showed you how to do that. Um, if my directions were bad. Um, you just follow these directions. It'll count down for you. Hold the power button in the corner for three seconds. Count down for ten seconds. Hold the power button and the home button at the same time. Counting down. Without releasing the home button and the and release the power button for thirty more seconds, it says, but it won't work. Um, yeah. So from there, it'll uh, connect to DFU mode, and that should be it. Now from there, the uh, it'll tell you that it's in DFU mode, and um, you just follow the directions in Red Snow, and I'll just be right back in Hypercam. Now since your iPod is going through all that steps, um, you're just going to let it do its thing. Um, just let it sit there, don't unplug it or anything like that. Um, and you should get a pineapple, it'll download the RAM disk see all that on your iPod, you did it right. It respring's and if you check, you should have Cydia on your iPod. It should look like this. Cydia, that little brown icon. And you open that up and you select user, um, cause you're a user, you're not a hacker or anything. Um, and you install packages and stuff like that that you want. And tweaks and stuff like that, and apps. So it's pretty good. Um, if you guys had any trouble with the jailbreak during it, um, did it stop? Um, and your iPod's still in DFU mode, I have a program for you if you were previously jailbroken and you updated to 3.1.3. .3. So, say if you were previously jailbroken on 3.1.2, you updated to 3.1.3 .3 in iTunes, this program allows you to, um, if, uh, go back where you were before if there were, if you're plug unplugged or something like that so um that'll help out for you guys um if you weren't jailbroken you just restart the program and try again um and if you guys have any questions you can or concerns you can uh comment in the video uh on the bottom or message me privately if you're not comfortable commenting on the video um Rate the video five stars if you guys liked it. Um, hope you guys hope this helped, and uh, happy jailbreaking.